Here with Emily Tapio of the A-10 champion Fordham women's basketball team. Emily, that's got to have a great ring to it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's an unbelievable feeling. Talk about you guys are down one at the half. What are you guys going through at halftime there against Dayton this morning uh, out down in R Richmond, Virginia? You know, we're down one. We said that's right where we want to be. We just want to be in the game at halftime. Um, it's 0-0 zero, zero every half for us. So we just came out, wanted to play our brand of basketball, and it's, you know, 10 four-minute games for us. So. We just thought, you know, the last four, first four minutes don't, don't decide the whole game, so it's the last four minutes that really count. One of the big keys of the game was your defense on Ali Malat, first team all conference player, and today just didn't have it today. Yourself, talk about the team defensive effort to take her out of her game. I mean, she's a great player, I'll give her that. Um, today we, we sagged off. We helped in the right positions, and we just worked on using our feet. So it was a it was a team effort. So that kind of defense, you can't have one player that's just gonna take over the game. So it was a team effort for that, and I just think we were able to shut down every single player they had. The last seconds as they tick off the clock, what's going through your mind? Oh my God, Hannah ran. <laughs> There's like 10 seconds ago, and Hannah ran into my arms, and I was thinking, I was like, are they gonna call the the ball for Dayton? I was like a little concerned, and then it was just unreal. I I had so many feelings, so many. Oh my, I can't even describe it to you. What does this mean for this this team, this group of players to come away with the first A-10 title for this program? We were so close last year. It just feels like we finally have arrived as a program and we've been in the situation before. So we're, we're just trying to build and gain some respect for Fordham and have other teams look at us and be like, wow, they are actually someone to contend with. So it's great for us. Next Monday, Selection Monday. What do you think that's going to be like a week from tomorrow? It's going to be great. We're, we're hoping to get a pretty good seed, so we're not done yet. Thanks so much, Emily. Appreciate the time.
Thank you. We're here with Abigail Corning, A-10 champion, women's basketball team for Fordham University 2014. It has a great ring to it, doesn't it? Oh, it does. It's so sweet. Uh, still probably hasn't hit me full force, but just such an exciting time for us. Talk about the last 10 seconds for the team on the floor when you know it's locked in and you're going to be the A-10 champion. Oh, we got the ball back, actually, with too much time. It was like 47 seconds, and we reversed it. Just had to throw up a shot at the end of shot clock, and Sam hit a three, and that just sealed the deal. And it, You know, I wanted to go run and hug her right away, but came down, just had to get another rebound. Uh, it was just crazy, and then just to have the bench run out and everyone just jumping up and down celebrating, it was just so much fun. Talk about this tournament as a whole. Gamma emotions the entire weekend. You come up big in the first game, beat Duquesne, kind of your nemesis, had beat you twice, avenged the loss to St. Bonaventure, and then you avenged the loss to Dayton in the championship game. Talk about the week as a whole. It was just really emotional, uh, really tiring, but you know we just put in the hard work that we had all year. Play three games in a row was rough, but you know, luckily for us, we had a solid win yesterday. So some of the starters, people that play a lot of minutes, got some rest, and that was really big for us. But I got my first Duquesne win and my first Dayton win, and then also our first A10 championship. So it was a pretty sweet weekend for me. Selection Monday, one week from tomorrow. What is that going to feel like when you hear Fordham's name announced on that broadcast? Probably just, it'll probably give me the chills. It actually just gave me the chills right now. Um, probably just as exciting as it was tonight um, to come back to Fordham and have everyone waiting for us to, when we get off the bus. is just really exciting for the whole program, for all my teammates, all my all our coaches. And, you know, to see where we're going for our next step is just going to be so much fun because we're going to ride it out as long as we can. Last question for you. You end your career as the most outstanding player of the A-10 championship. What does that mean for you personally? Huge. It's just, it. you know, I'm really humbled by it. Um, you know, I never would have thought that, especially coming in as a freshman, but just all the hours I put in with the coaches, all the hours I put in on my own, uh, just to have that all pay off, have me climb the ladder, cut the nets, and, and to be called the most outstanding player of the A-10 championship, it's just, it's just crazy, and it'll be something I remember for the rest of my life. Well, again, congratulations, Abigail, to you and your teammates, 2014 A-10 champions. Thanks, Scott. Here with senior Aaron Rooney, 2014 Atlantic 10 champions as the Fordham women's basketball team. It's got to have a great ring to it, right? It's amazing. I really don't know how to explain it. <laughs> your journey here has been a special one with Coach Gately from your time at Monmouth to come in here, and now it culminates with an A-10 title. Talk about your journey as a whole here at Fordham. Yeah, I mean, I was just thinking about it the night before and thinking, uh, I mean, I've been in a championship that was going to be my third time, um, and it runs this three times a charm, so... I mean, it was an amazing journey. Um, I love my team at my old school. I wish I got a championship with them, but this was really special to get one here and to do it with Coach. It's really cool. <laughs> the last 10 seconds as they're running off the clock, you're looking around for that first person to hug, that excitement. What 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 is that all about right there? And we're laughing about it afterwards because we just all kind of stood on the court and the bench was all the way down the other end and they had to run so far, but... I think there's a great picture of um, Abigail and Sam hugging Emily and Hannah together, and I'm just by myself. I'm just like, yes! And then I go and find them, and it was really special. <laughs> For yourself and Abigail, the senior guards on this team, the leaders on this team, how much have you seen this team grow over this championship season from back in October, or even from the, the foreign trip to now here in March, and you're going to the NCAA tournament. And there's been a lot of growth. Um, early on in the season, I think Abigail and I had to look to score a lot. And as we were coming up towards the championship, um, we were talking about how it's going to be great when everyone plays like a good game all together. Emily was having some really good games, and we weren't backing her up. And I think just having that loss last year when we got to the championship, you know, everyone's just ready to play. Sam was playing great. She was playing awesome on the defensive end especially. And... I mean, that's just a championship team. Everyone does their part. Next Monday is Selection Monday for the NCAA Women's Tournament. What is that feeling going to feel like when you see the name Fordham come across that screen? I don't know. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the feeling is when I have it. But, I mean, just to be there sitting knowing that we're going to come up there, it's, it's cool. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Aaron. Congratulations. A great season, and it continues next week at the NCAA Tournament. Thank you.